So now in this video, we're going to look at the LM393. It is a comparator circuit. There's two of them within the integrated circuit right there. So we have our inverting input. This is just like the op amp where we're going to set 2.5 volts. We're using a 5 volt power supply, two equal value resistors wired as a voltage divider will give us half of the voltage, 2.5 volts right there. And it compares the voltage at the non-inverting input. If uh, we set the trim pot a little more or even farther then a half of the supply voltage up then the output will be high if we go down below halfway 2.5 volts again or uh, lower then the outputs gonna go low the thing with the output though is the LM 393 is an open collector output and there's uh, other integrated circuits that will be an open drain output but in any case what they're saying is when the output is low it still connects to ground. It makes a really good connection to ground right there. When the output is high, it just turns off completely. And so for a high output, you need a pull up resistor right there to uh, light the LED when the integrated circuit is a uh, high. Basically it doesn't exist as far as that resistor and LED are concerned. And then when it's low, it connects directly to ground. So now before we look at it on the board, we're gonna look at the pin layout. So we have to power the comparator and this is a common pin layout for uh, dual comparators and dual op amps, but it's not universal. So don't assume they're all like this. I always check the uh, data sheet. But in case we have to power it, so we got uh, the positive supply there and ground, which is a negative supply. Uh, if it's a single supply, there's also a uh, dual supply option with this uh, uh, comparator you don't have to use a single supply and in that case this would be the negative voltage and ground would be a halfway point between the two but in case we have a comparator on the left side and the right side we're just going to use the one on the left side output at the top inverting input below it and non-inverting input below that now there's an interesting thing on the uh, data sheet I always read the uh, data sheets but it said output sync current and then for typically it said 16 milliamps so I'm guessing that's the most you can expect it to sync uh, current. Remember, it doesn't source current. It just syncs. It connects to ground or turns off. But uh, I always consult the data sheet. It had a minimum of 6 milliamps. So if it's only uh, syncing 6 milliamps, that uh, tells me that that's something you should uh, expect when you are uh, working with it. So in any case, we have our 450 ohm resistor coming to the long lead, the anode of the LED right there. Short lead, the cathode going up to that jumper there. So right now the output's not doing anything, so current is just flowing through the resistor and the LED to ground right there. We set our voltage to, uh, since it's a 5 volt power supply, to 2.5 volts with two equal value resistors, one to the positive supply, the other to the negative, and then we have our trim pot, which it is uh, comparing. So right now we must be up a little bit, even though we're halfway. If I go up more, the output stays high. Now the output goes low. So what it's doing, current is still going through the resistor, in fact, even more current now, and it's just going to ground. That's because ground is an easier path than uh, trying to go through the LED as well. So the output is sinking current, taking away all the current going through the resistor, and now it's just basically off. So that's how the open collector or the open drain works. It doesn't uh, source current, just sinks current. So in any case, hope that all made sense. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I have links down in the description. But I just watching videos helps. So thanks for watching them. I'll see you in the next video.